In this video, we are going to perform student t-test with log transformed outcome. And we are going to use the uh, same data set we use uh, how to perform t-test in our commander video. And so I already have a data set open. And if you don't know how to come to this point, and please watch the previous video of so t tests have assumptions. Uh, when you look at data within each group, dependent variable have to be normally distributed. So let's quickly check if that is true. Let's quickly check if assumption is met for this data set or not. And you could be using a histogram, although histogram in our commander, uh, you can't really do within each group. So we are going to use box plot instead. And dependent variable is total hospital cost. So you choose that variable here. And then uh, do plot by group, and which is hospital dead. So you click OK. And as you see, this box plot indicates skewness in the data set. And this middle line is median, and then uh, you will see 25th percentile and 75th percentile, and these are outliers. So these data are skewed with a cluster toward the lower value. There are several patients with a high cost. Okay, so this violates normality assumption for student t test, and you could conduct a non-parametric test which doesn't assume any data distribution. Or you could transform a variable, outcome variable, and uh, in this case, total hostel cost, to have normality in a transformed variable. So once you achieve normality after uh, some form of mathematical transformation, we we'll try log transformation in this example, but it can be any mathematical transformation. And then, uh, after you achieve normality, and you can conduct student t-test, as we did in the previous video. Okay. So, uh, let's create. Uh, so, we will try log for this data um, step, and we are going to create log transformed hospital cost. So, you go to data and uh, manage variable in active data set, and here we will click compute new variable. Okay. And we are going to compute new variable called log.totcst, total hostel cost, and you type log of totcst. And this will return natural log. And you click OK. Right? And let's make sure the variable is already, variable is created. So let's click the view data set and scroll to the right and here is a log total hostel cost okay so uh, from here and uh, it's easy we just conduct student t-test with a log total cost um, right. so you go to mean and independent sample t-test and we use log total cost Okay. and click option and as we use equal variances for non-transformed cause so we might just start with uh, yes for this assumption okay we check with the events test if this assumption was correct or not so we click okay, okay. so this is the result of t test with log transformed hospital cost and now the result reached statistical significance. P-value is less than 0.05. So this can be used as evidence to suggest average total hostile cost are different between two groups. All right, and let's make sure this result is valid. And to do that, and we have to check the data distribution. Right, and to check assumption, normality assumption. So we go back to our commander. So let's redo box, box plot with log transform the cost. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So now, okay, so we don't have much outliers anymore, and median value is lying with uh, at the center of the box. So this suggests after log transformation and uh, outcome variable is reasonably normally distributed, so we can uh, report result of t test with log transformed outcome. So we know we can go ahead to use res this result. And now, how can we report this finding? Can we say average total hospital cost is 10.16 log in survivors, 10.16 log dollars in survivors compared to 10.71 log dollars in deceased? What is the log value? And especially log is natural, natural log, and it's really hard to make sense and how relevant these two differences are. Okay. So when you use transformation, you are advised to convert the result in the original scale. So uh, we use log, natural log, so in order to convert this to original scale, we use exponential of uh, this value. So, so let's convert this. Right. So, um, so here now we can say average cost is twenty-five thousand eight hundred forty-eight dollars in survived patient, and average cost is ten point seven one exponential of that. So that is forty-four thousand eight hundred dollars in deceased patient. So now you can see the results are more intuitive. And that, uh, some of you might be wondering, you, well, that this is not really average. Um, this is an exponential of log of average. Okay, there's a name for that. We can call this geometric mean. So geometric mean cost, and using log transformed student t-test, and we compare geometric mean of uh, total hospital cost between disease and non disease patient and a difference of nearly $20,000 are statistically significant. they different from zero, therefore two groups are different. So what the geometric mean? Some people are still might still have a hard time understanding geometric mean. So geometric mean is actually uh, very close to median, and we actually saw that in the previous video, right? And uh, let me double check. So we go back to our commander, and we go to statistics and summaries, numerical summary, and we can check if that is true. And total hospital cost. Okay, click that. And summarize by group, hospital, and OK. So uh, here, 50% value. This is the median total cost, hospital cost among survivors, and this is the median total hospital cost among deceased patients. And therefore, geometric mean is really close to median. And when the log transformation provides a normality in the data set. So no more normality provide the value after you anti-log, uh, of the mean, uh, which is geometric mean, uh, become closer to median. Okay.